Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, Tati has over a little bit of a mod spotlight, guys. As you guys can see, we are in the mod spotlight world, and today, we're gonna be talking about something pretty special. I'm just gonna switch out of game mode here, and, uh, so I can show you guys today's mod. So, today we're gonna be talking about the furniture mod by Mr. Crayfish, or the Mr. Crayfish furniture mod. The mod form link will be down in the description if you guys wanna go check it out for all the, you know, detailed crafting recipes and whatnot. I'm gonna be going over as much as possible in this video, um, but I'm not gonna be going over 100% everything. Before I start this video, though, I'd also also like to mention you guys will need forge mod loader all you need to do is drag and drop this folder into forge you might run into some uh, incompatibility errors with other mods but if your minecraft doesn't launch just try taking out some of your other mods and it should work also if you guys don't have forge mod loader installed for the most recent version of minecraft make sure you check the description also because i will be linking a video tutorial uh, of me explaining how to do it and it's going to work for the most current version of minecraft the other thing that i'd like to mention before we get started is just if you guys do like this mod if you guys do like my mod spotlights remember guys to rate the video down below it is really really uh helpful guys it really does help me out and a lot of people just forget to rate they you know it, it slips their mind throughout the course of the video and i can understand you guys getting all lost in my dreamy voice but um before, so with no further ado let's get started so as you guys can see there's a bunch of new changes with the mod spot lighthouse uh we have this thing called a bird bath right here more of an aesthetic thing same thing with the stone very aesthetic we got faucets we have a mailbox which you can actually throw things in uh this is server compatible so if you want to throw this on your server it would really help out uh, also we have these like lamps here as you guys can see we can click those they also uh, work with redstone inputs and outputs you guys have your bed uh, drawers right here so you can use those you know you have your chairs as you guys can see I'm just chilling out right here chilling out right there uh, we got tables and even ovens that you can cook things in um, this is supposed to be an oven overhead, so I guess that kind of is cool. Uh, and these couches, you can actually tile, so you can make the couch, like, super long and shift. Um, so there's that. You know, you have cabinets right here for, like, kitchens and stuff. You can store stuff in. I really do like these sort of things. Uh, they are really neat. You know, it beats just having a chest. And then also you have these things like a fridge and, uh, you know freezer down here and if you guys make some fuel uh, using glass and water you guys can actually take things like water and uh, without you know certain things like you know uh, silk touch picks you can actually get ice uh, so as you guys see it's going to go and it's going to eventually create a block of ice I wish it would create more than one uh, because it does take you know two block two buckets uh, or two buckets of water just to get one block of ice so I wish that was kind of different but you can do that you can also use it for lava and make uh, you know obsidian with it so if you guys want an easy way to get obsidian without having to break uh, all the blocks you guys can put lava in there and that will work so you guys won't need a diamond pick you guys won't need to go down and get lava or you will need to go get lava but you wouldn't need to like break it all and stuff Stuff. So that's something that's really cool, and I really do like it. Um, another thing to mention is stuff like this. You, have, you guys have hedges, so they're not just leaves. These are specific hedges, which I really like. You know, you got white picket fences, and then, or fence eye. And uh, another thing that I need to mention, and this is probably one of the more final things, is curtains. So you actually have these pretty cool curtains. So as you guys can see, I can close and open them, you know, close and open this style of curtain. I definitely do like this. And then finally, we have carpet. So this is a new thing in Minecraft 1.5, but this is, a or Mi Minecraft 1.6. But this, interestingly enough, is actually, like, like, flush to the floor. So I can actually break it. Oh, there we go. So I can actually break it, but it's actually flush to the floor. So it actually changes the texture. That's why there's a little bit of, you know, clipping here. Uh, but it actually changes the texture of the floor. So it's not like it lies on top of it. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of those items. I'm just going to show you guys the crafting recipes quickly. So something like the bedside cabinet is actually pretty difficult uh, to create when you think about it because it does require two chests. But that being said, it does hold two chests uh, in one block. But as you guys can see, with two chests, it is kind of, you know, more uh, resource consuming. But uh, it is just wood, so, you know, you just go out with an axe get some more. You got things like the wooden table, which you guys can actually use, and this is just simply wood. It, you know, it serves more of an aesthetic purpose. Uh, you got things like chairs, and all of these are, you know, they're, they're shape-crafted based, so everything is kind of crafted like it looks. Uh, also, you have things like the cabinet, which is one chest surrounded by wood. So, again, you know, you're not getting as much uh, slots as the chest, but you guys are getting a pretty aesthetically pleasing uh, item. And plus you can throw it like up and like right next to blocks and you'll still be able to open it. Uh, coffee table, again, shape crafted. The fridge is a little bit different. You guys will need a furnace. You guys will need uh, a bunch of iron blocks, more realistic, I guess, along with, uh, you know, what fridges are for. But uh, getting a bunch of iron does save you from needing to get diamond to mine obsidian. You guys also have, you know, couches. So with the couch, it's just simply wool. And then that'll make a single 
thing like so and then if you put them next to each other uh, it'll it'll create more you can also dye them like black red yellow all that stuff uh, blinds are just sticks the, the little stick ones you guys can get curtains which will require gold uh, so they're a little bit more expensive but you get two of them you guys will use the white carpet which is just simply two pieces of wool and you actually get a good amount of them uh, different than the 1.6 mod or 1.6 snapshot um, Lamps are pretty easy, you know, really all you need is obsidian, glowstone, and uh, a few pieces of wool. That's kind of neat. Uh, moving on from there, you have the oven. Again, a lot of blocks of iron, but it does serve a pretty cool purpose. You can smelt a lot of things with it. You know, the overhead, uh, or, yeah, overhead, sorry, oven overhead. Um, with that, you know, it's not that difficult. I would have expected it to be, you know, blocks of iron, but I guess it's more of an aesthetic, aesthetic thing. You have your hedges, which are kind of cool. You know, you throw six uh, leaves in there and you get this out. It, again, you're paying a price for it being aesthetically pleasing. You have a bird bath, which, you know, comes with water somehow without actually having water in the recipe, which is kind of odd. Uh, the stone path, you guys just need to put cobblestone next to, next to uh, another piece of cobblestone. I really like that. I think that's really cool. I really do uh, think that's easier than, you know, getting stone uh, and having to do that. Then you have um, the white fence, which is just simply dyed uh, normal fence, so you just put bone meal next to it. Uh, and I like how the shape is kind of different, it's not just colored fence. Uh, and then you have a tap, which is a piece of iron, you got some stone there. Finally, uh, or second last, the mailbox, which is a book uh, surrounded by wood. And then, finally, the cooling pack, which I already showed you, is a bucket of water surrounded by glass. So that's all of them right there. Again, I would like to also mention that uh, there is a couple more things. So, if I go over here, uh, there is actually stone chairs and stuff like that, which is really the same thing. It's just the same shape crafting, but with stone instead. So I just want to mention that as well as, you know, there's different colored carpets, different colored uh, beds and couches or whatever. So, Anyway, hopefully, again, you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, remember to leave a like rating down below as well. Subscribe to join the nation if you already haven't. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy this mod. Hopefully, it works for you in your mods uh, folder. If you are having problems, make sure you just try, uh, try changing out other uh, older mods that you had because uh, you might have some incompatibility issues. Anyway, again, hopefully, you guys did enjoy. I'm the Doctor, and I'm out. Peace.